Good morning, Southwest Florida. I'm Bree Walling. This Naples Herald morning report is sponsored by our friends at Fusillo Kia of Cape Coral. This morning we'll tell you about a shooting in a South Texas church, a lovable and laugh out loud comedian coming to Naples, and more. Today is Monday, November 6th, and this is the morning report. A man opened fire in a church in a small Texas community on Sunday, killing at least 26 people and wounding at least 10 others. The exact number of victims in the attack at the First Baptist Church in Sutherland Springs was not immediately known. An official said the gunman fled in a vehicle after the attack and was found dead. Among his victims were a pregnant woman and children. Sutherland Springs is in a rural area where communities are small and tight-knit. The area is known for its annual peanut festival in Floresville, which was most recently held last month. President Trump tweeted from Japan, where he's on an Asian trip, calling the shooting an evil act and promised more details from the state's Department of Public Safety soon. Check back with Naples Herald for updates. Apple's iPhone X went on sale Friday as the company scrambles to meet the demand for the newest release carrying a $1,000 price tag. Most analysts have predicted Apple won't be able to catch up with demand until early next year, but the company is optimistic, with CEO Tim Cook expecting it to be Apple's biggest quarter ever. He added that the company is increasing its iPhone X production capacity every week. Apple is now giving delivery times of three to four weeks, down from five to six for those ordering online. On Friday, lines formed outside stores across the world, including here in southwest Florida at Coconut Point and Waterside, to pick up orders or to grab one of the limited numbers available for same-day sales. Some conspiracy theorists have suggested that Apple is artificially reducing supply to generate buzz, though analysts say the real reason is that Apple's suppliers so far haven't been able to manufacture the iPhone X quickly enough. Read more about the release online. The comedian Josh Blue will be performing exclusively at Off the Hook Comedy Club in Naples November 10th and 11th. Blue was thrust into popularity following his appearance and success on NBC's fourth season of The Last Comic Standing, a reality comedy show. The multi-talented comedian shares his unique, self-depreciating brand of humor regarding his own experiences with cerebral palsy. He's appeared on The Ellen Show, The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, Comedy Central, Live with Regis and Kelly, and has had his successes featured in The New York Times, People Magazine, and many others. Blue took time to chat with the Naples Herald regarding his career, his upcoming visit to Southwest Florida, and more. Gary Levine was lucky enough to chat it up with him and says he's as likable and friendly as one can be. Check out the full interview at NaplesHerald.com. And that was the Morning Report for today. I'm Bree Walling. The Morning Report airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our lunch break that also airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Thank you for watching.